What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here in this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, well, we have some alpha dropped by Cryptomancer in the Town Hall channel on the Discord server. And I got to give a shout out to Intrepid Surfer for tagging me in this and letting me know uh, because I probably wouldn't have come across it myself in the, Town Hall, uh, in the Town Hall channel. So there were a couple of questions asked here by several folks. But the most relevant one, we can just go here. Uh, let's see, who was this? Uh, just K, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there's any other any other uh, thing to the name. So just K dot 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 says. Uh, first question: Is there a planned formula for figuring future set production points or adjusting current ones as new additions come out? This is uh, in relation to or in the context of land. How much production we'll be creating? Uh, if so, can you give us any indication of what that might be? And then second question: In the future, is there going to be uh, any other use for collection power on a card apart from its burn value? With the idea that collection power was to be removed from tournaments also. So Cryptomancer drops this saying, I can answer both of those actually. Number one, it's not officially confirmed yet, but internally we've been talking about Rebellion having a 0.5 set multiplier for land. And two, uh, this the second part in regards to collection power, uh, yes, collection power will be used for a new feature planned to be included in Rebellion. More details on that at a later date. So that's actually really interesting. Let's let's dive into each of these. Okay, number one, the land multiplier, 0.5. That's not surprising. I Okay, so I guess once they've coded in uh, Chaos Legion, and Chaos Legion is going to have a multiplier of one or a base of one, I guess it makes sense that they don't want to go back and change that once Rebellion is out, you know, depending on when land actually comes out. My thought process was if you – basically what we could do and again, this, this is my perfect scenario and how I would have designed it. But then again, keep in mind that I'm not the designer for this. Uh, I would have done it so that, you know, whatever the base or whatever the newest current set is, you can just keep that at one. And then now that we have, you know, 10x for alpha, 5x for untamed and a 2 uh, sorry, 5x for beta and 2x for untamed, every set beyond that. Uh, once it once it goes uh, out of not print but out of like the being the current set available on the uh, on the store. So once chaos essentially goes, it's still gonna be modern. But once chaos is essentially not the 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 newest core set, that can go up to 1.5, right? So then you have 1.5 to 5 and 10x, and then pretty much as we go through with more and more core sets released each of the newer ones can just be 1.5. They don't need to add further value, and maybe that's something that could be addressed uh, further down the line when you know land is hopefully at a much more mature state. But you know something like when Rebellion gets rotated out and whatever comes after Rebellion, then we have you know Rebellion jumping up to 1.5, and both it and Chaos can be at 1.5, if you understand what I'm saying. Now, that doesn't seem like the direction that they're going. It seems like these set multipliers are going to have diminishing, uh, diminishing production if we continue on this route. Again, I don't know if that means that whatever comes after Rebellion will end up being 0.25 and then we're down to 0.125. It's almost like a Bitcoin having at this point. But, um, you know, it's this it's a it's a weird it's a weird thing there. So I don't know what the long term plans are, but it sounds like at least from the short term, they don't want to go back and recode Chaos Agent. And I can understand that. So maybe the current set will then have a 0.5 multiplier that gets increased as soon as it is out of print or something like that. So that's an interesting thought process there. Uh, but thank you, Cryptomancer, for sharing that. And then the collection power one is very interesting to me. Um, now, you know, collection power was, as, as the team says, it, it never ended up being utilized in the way that they were hoping for. So I'm actually excited to see that there is a plan for it in Rebellion. Now, what that will consist of in Rebellion, I, I don't know. But, I, you know, my, my big question with this in terms of, like, if it's going to be included in Rebellion, is it only going to be Rebellion cards or is collection power going to matter for everything going all the way back to, to uh, Alpha and Beta? Because the collection power for those is significantly higher. Um, but that's, you know, I, more details on that later. That is something that, that came to mind, though. It's exciting that they're trying to utilize collection power in a way when Rebellion comes out. But I, again, I just don't know what that necessarily means for older sets, if that'll be included in it, because... The, the main thing, I guess, that I'm, I'm really trying to wrap my head around is the fact that collection power disparities are so wide now between uh, are so wide now between uh, whatever rebellion will be and alpha. Right. I mean, you, you could even just look at Chaos Legion for Cha the difference between like Chaos Legion uh, collection power and alpha or beta 
is significantly high. And I don't know, similar to like production on land, if the CP collection power for Rebellion will end up being half of what Chaos Legion is. That could be that could be interesting too. But we'll get more information on this once we get more information on Rebellion overall. But uh, I'm super excited about this. And I, I shout out to Cryptomancer for sharing some uh, some alpha here on Discord. So let me know what your thoughts are. Just wanted to share that with you guys. I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.